How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. This is Kizzy Ewell here and we are back with another electric scooter video and today we are going to be talking about the InMotion Arrow X. Man, this thing is looking good right now. It's looking very tempting. For some of you who are not aware about the InMotion Arrow X, that's fine. I'm going to be giving you guys a bunch of infos about this new electric scooter and just so you guys know, InMotion is mainly known for making electric unicycles but they are stepping it up big in the electric scooter game right now with the in motion areas because if you mainly look at the electric scooters that they normally have you guys can see these are like small scooters like bird scooters and then you see that beast right there 72 volts and 40 amp hour battery rx this electric scooter is going to be the game changer for the in motion company so before we dive into this i want to give a big shout out to julian for putting me onto the in motion areas he was the one that commented and was telling me hey bro have you heard about the in motion areas i was like what about it what's going on with the in motion areas so i started doing my research about it but shout out to you so without no further ado, let's jump right into it. You know, uh, when I was watching uh, some of the videos that uh, the InMotion uh, company were making and talking about the RAX and they were trying to compare it to the Segway GT2, but it's nothing like the Segway GT2. It's more like the Wolf King GT and the 011X. So you guys can see the 011X have the same design. Yeah, there's no suspension right there in the front, the same thing. And uh, one of the big things that a lot of us are worried about when it comes to stuff like this. So it has two stems on there, but it's not connected to the front wheel like wolf king gt so if you see the wolf king gt with the suspension is connected directly to the tires so it helps to create more stability when you're riding rax is not connected to the tire it's a c-shaped uh, suspension now the reason why they also did this they're calling it a transformer if you guys can see right there how it lowers down let's go to the computer i think you guys can have a better view of that you guys can see right there how they say it's a transformer because of this it's a transformer i don't really think it's a transformer because of this i it's more like a low rider you guys are comparing this is what low riders do you know they go down and they go up now a transformer will be like bumblebee it come out and everything completely change that is a transformer do motor system yes 2000 watt rated 4,000, 4,100 watts max output, and it says total output max 8,200. Do Thunder 2, the max output is 10,000 watts. Okay, so it's a little bit more. Uh, let's see here 11s has a 3,000 watt uh, motor, dual motors, and uh, 72 volts, 32 amp hour lg top speed of 68 miles per hour oh i see this is where they got this 68 miles per hour top speed because they did say that the in motion area top speed is going to be uh 68 miles per hour so there's a couple of places where it shows that top speed of this beast and it's going to be 68 miles per hour we're going to talk about seven uh, important things that you need to be aware of anytime any brand new electric scooter comes out you need to be aware of this because they're extremely important and one of them is going to be range now when it comes to range uh, i believe this is going to be giving you it says 75 miles 75 miles to 100 miles of range max range now you guys should already know if you've been in the electric scooter game long enough that you're actually not going to be getting probably nothing close to 75 miles on this electric scooter at all unless you're riding it like a grandma you might get maybe 50 50 miles of range from this because it is a 2880 watts hour battery so it's not a it's not a bad battery it's pretty big so you should be able to get that but again you also have to take your weight into consideration so if you're on the heavy side you might be getting 45 miles so i don't know why the scooter companies can't just be honest with um the the range for some of these electric scooters but i do understand that this electric scooter is also made in in uh, china and it's also being tested in china which they 
they have like a low weight ratio people that actually test this thing if it was in the u.s you guys already know people in the u.s are big <laughs> the testing is a little bit different it's a little bit more realistic to if you're trying to buy this electric scooter to commute uh, when they talk about the max range so you're not gonna get the 75 miles or 100 mile of range just forget that that's not happening another thing that you want to make sure that you are aware of is durability now when it comes to durability i believe this scooter does have what it takes i think it's only time that's going to tell when it comes to it being durable it has to be tested by a lot of us who are non-biased tested i put it through the maximum uh terrain and push it to the limit if i do get my hands on the scooter i can give you guys also even more feedback of real experience with the electric scooter but without even having to ride some of these electric scooters i can tell you when a company is trying to play games now it says ip67 water resistance i want you guys to understand this even on some posts from in motion say that it's waterproof they're not saying waterproof they're saying water water resistance so this does not mean because some of you are going to see waterproof and you're going to go and dip this in water and it is going to get damaged this thing is not waterproof it's water resistant uh, so just be careful it does come with a sine wave controller 50 amp uh, controller which is going to make your acceleration nice and smooth really good man uh 11 inch tires i wish it was a 12 inch tires i'm really tired of 11 inch tires after owning my hollybone gx with 14 inch tires i don't want to ride anything smaller i really prefer 12 inch tires and up uh, wide tires like those um the wheel pads the wheel pads have a lot of wide tires i like those it says all weather transportation again i will say this don't ride this in the rain if you do get it it wouldn't work regenerative braking now braking they would choose to go with a zoom brake <laughs> not a big fan of zoom brakes because it takes a lot to get the zoom brakes to work and when it comes to bleeding them they can be a pain in the ass but when they do work how they are meant to be zoom brakes are pretty good and they do work pretty well it's just a pain in the butt to try to bleed them if you get a bad one ah uh, it's gonna give you some serious issues all the way down and like i said this is a pretty good uh, start for stepping into the electric scooter game with something big i think a lot of us can come to appreciate for those who are interested in the electric scooter game in motion is definitely stepping up to the game and, and giving you guys exactly what uh most of you should be interested in now i do know that a lot of people were complaining that you know they do stem they should have just uh, got rid of it just use one and i think one of the reason why they did this is because they want to distribute the force that's coming when you're riding in this i think one is always better than two so just in case you don't break uh, any of this stuff off you just don't like the way like you can see that like hanging right there you see <laughs> see the way it's hanging out right there it just kind of looks weird I, I don't know but that's because this is adjustable the stem is adjustable you can adjust it lower it uh bring it up which is a pretty good idea you know look, some people like to bring their stuff a little bit low since you can lower the suspension it might help you lower the center of gravity you know gives you more balance and control so they're they're kind of doing a lot of things here that you know people have probably been asking Asking. they're definitely doing something that we can all come to appreciate i'll test some of these things out if i do get my hands on them i don't want to do the typical reviews where a company just sends me an electric scooter and then i do review for a few days and then send it back to them i don't want to do any of that stuff i think companies are doing now what they call beta testing apollo is doing this with their new apollo pro where they have better testers who are putting like 500 miles on the electric scooters that's something i'll be more interested in because i want to try the scooter i want to push it and then give you guys an honest feedback if in motion will do something like that that will also be great and i'm not talking about doing this with you know people that are gonna send stuff and then tell them you can't say anything bad about our scooters no like i want random people they're honest and straightforward and uh, they can give you guys feedback back because at the end of the day i do want you guys to get uh some of these electric scooters and be 100 percent satisfied with it i don't want you guys to be complaining about anything that's why i try to give you guys all the feedback and let you guys know what to expect before you dive in and then uh get one of these but this thing looks pretty sweet shout out to in motion man you guys you guys stepped up to the game like come on man let's, let's do this guys perfect 
you know, that's what I'm talking about. You guys step up to the game. And I need you guys to appreciate these companies that do this. I need you guys to understand where this, where they came from. Because look, look at this. I'm not saying there's anything there. These are for beginners. Okay. They came from stuff like that. And uh, we moved all the way to something this big oh if you guys are asking for what how much this weighs it weighs 110 pounds so it's about six pounds less than the segway gt2 the segway gt2 weighs about 116 pounds this weighs 110 pounds my dutron thunder 2 weighs 105 pounds so it's bigger than it's it's five pounds bigger than the thunder 2 it's actually five pounds bigger than the hollyburn gex you guys already know the hollyburn gs is huge but this thing is lighter than most electric scooters on the market this is gonna be a little bit bigger and i hope it's actually going to be portable because this is another part that is really important is for the electric scooter to be portable let's see here portability is extremely important and another thing is speed if you guys already know uh when it comes to speed 68 miles you're probably not gonna get all the way to 68 maybe 60 62 you know depending on your weight you might get less just don't think that you're about to be doing 68 miles on this thing the weight i already has talked about the weight speed safety uh, i believe this is gonna be a bit safe with the do stem it should be safe uh, i hope so most of the time when it comes to safety we worry about the batteries as long as it has some good bmx on there it should be pretty good and some good controllers that won't burn out and set things on fire maintenance maintenance looks like it's going to be straightforward because this comes from the bodies of uh, 0 10x uh, 0 11x so i think maintenance if you've already been in the electric scooter game for a while now it should be easy for you to maintain something like this because it doesn't look like that crazy uh, next thing after sale customer service i'm not familiar with the customer service of in motion i haven't really had any big complaints from them but uh yeah i hope that their uh, customer service these are things you want to be looking out for if you have worked with them before and you didn't have a good customer service uh, you can let us know but i haven't heard anything bad about the company when it comes to customer service because that is important that's all for now our x man we're looking forward to this thing it's gonna be dropping on the kickstart first i'm not sure what it is with companies now doing kickstarts first i guess is to give people a chance for uh, to get it for a cheaper rate or what or something and also support the company but it's gonna be on kickstarter uh here is it coming soon to kickstarter sign up now to secure your 23 percent special offer so you can get 23 percent off uh, when you sign up i don't know but it says it's coming soon so hopefully it's going to be this year there's going to be a lot of electric scooters dropping this year so i want you guys to be aware of that uh, before you start trying to pull the trigger on any scooter that comes out it seems like a couple of scooters are going to be popping out from nowhere and uh you want to make sure that you have your wallets ready all right guys peace out